Hi, my heart and soul family. This is Crystal. So today we're gonna speak about Gold Digger, but before we do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, click on the description link for your journey to happiness. So, and also, like I said, later on, I will do a giveaway later on this year, but um, it's for people who like, subscribe, share, comment, and support my channel. And you could place a comment. I don't care if it's just a, a hi or just a, if you don't know what to say, you could just put a smiley face just so I know that you actually are watching and you love my content. So today's topic is about Gold Digger. The reason why I said Gold Digger is because, okay, so a lot of people, well, in my mind and what I've experienced personally, I've been told and I've seen that usually some women are gold diggers but I didn't know guys are actually they have men that are actually gold diggers and this situation happened to me <laughs> oh my god so basically this happened um this happened before this happened to me before Valentine's Day so I met this um this guy and I was like okay you know he was talking to me he tried to talk to me and he was just like um conversating with me everything was flowing very well then all of a sudden he was like um you know I want to see you and I wanted to I want to get to know you and you know I think we could have a future together and all that stuff so I'm like, okay, you know, so I'm asking him about his background, like, what do you do? Like, you know, just like getting to know each other kind of situation. He was doing the same for me. It wasn't until he started, um, he started asking me about like businesses. Now I do YouTube, YouTube don't make, they don't pay as much um, as a lot of people think YouTube pay, but they don't pay as much um and i just started like a, it's been like a year that i started and um you know they don't really pay as much as if you would if you'd be there for years then yeah they could pay more but um and especially your content as well but um so just because i was doing youtube he automatically thought that i had a lot of money and he um i would cook and he would like ask about it and he just asked me about like personal stuff dealing with um dealing with like how much i made like it was just like too much personal and then when i would be like why are you asking that he's like you know i'm just trying to get to know you better and this and this and now i'm like okay this is mad weird like why are you asking me about finance if you're saying you're trying to get to know me and like so he just kept pushing he was just like yeah um and like how much do i make and this and that i'm like first of all if i just met you like that i'm not gonna tell you how much i make because first of all that's that's being too personal if i just met you the first day and you asked me how much i made i'm not the kind of person that i ask someone how much you make when i first meet you because I mean, you you could kind of get some idea how much, like if someone's doing well or if they're not, but he was um, just looking at like my um, my background with the YouTube, like my surroundings so, and um, everything else. So he automatically thought in his mind that I was rich and I'm like, <laughs> I'm just a regular person doing YouTube. I have another job, okay? YouTube is not my job, it's just entertainment. That's it, and also to try to help people and also help myself and learn from my mistakes. So I was I was telling him, I'm like, you know, I'm just a regular person, but this this dude was thinking that I was rich and then all of a sudden he was like, I, I was like, Well, why are you asking me that what do you even do? Like that you asking me all this. He's like the the company he named is sounded so made up. And then, like, you could tell it's made up because it's, like, one of those companies you're, like, mm, you're, like, you're saying the name and you're, like, yeah, and company. And I'm, like, uh, what are you saying? What are you saying, Sasa? What are you saying? <laughs> 
So my African son was like, oh, stop, what are you saying? So I was like, I don't understand what you're saying. What are you saying? So then he just kept going and it just sounded mad made up. So come to find out he was asking all that stuff. He didn't even have, he didn't even have his, um, he didn't even have nothing together with it. Like he didn't have nothing for himself. When I say nothing for himself, he didn't have no, no, I ended up finding out he didn't have like a vehicle. He didn't have a job. He didn't have, um, his own house or anything. And for me, I was just like, dang, like you asking me all this and you want me, like he was just so demanding about it. He was asking me all this about myself, but he don't even got his stuff together. And then he was like, yeah, you know, um, uh, I'm going to give you, I want you to borrow me this amount and I'm going to give you this because, um, I, I mean, yeah, I work this job, but I just need help with this. And I'm like, but you, if you have a job and then you said you're going to get a car soon, why are you, why are you asking me for money? That's red flag number one. And so I was like, no, I'm not doing it. Like, and then he was just extremely pushy about everything. Like, um, if he, if, um, I didn't tell him about the amount he made, I made, he was just like saying like, oh, it's cause you're hiding and you're lying about all this stuff. And I'm like, what? I'm like, this is the first time. Cause when, when people say they have male di gold diggers, I never knew about that. But this dude full grown older than me came and started like he claimed he had a job he claimed he had everything else but then started digging deep into looking at like learning more about him found out he didn't have any of those and he wanted me to be his sugar mama <laughs> and try to provide for everything like for me I want someone who's a provider not someone who like I could always always provide of course I'd love to help but if you're someone who's always like wanting me to do everything and pay all the bills you got me you're joking i'm not doing it i'm not <laughs> so i'm not like i was like what do you like what do you think i am like i'm nice but i'm nice to an extent so <laughs> i want you to get that sir but um he was just like asking me like so like do you do you have a um do you have do you run a business like is it making what are you making good money with youtube and all that sounds like it's just a regular thing like it's not it's just a regular entertainment like some people they use it as a job for me as like i said learning but yeah but um after that it just didn't go nowhere and i ended up finding out that he had um a, a side chick but he was just trying to get me to pay for all that stuff and i said no no sir so Basically, lesson learned um, for anyone who faced that situation. Don't let no one run you and um, start asking you for money firsthand when they're trying to so-called get to know you and say, oh, I'm just trying to get to know you. That's not the first question you ask someone that you're trying to um, get to learn, um, know more about. But that's just crazy. I just never knew that some guys are like that. Even though people say that, I just never experienced it. But those of you who experienced it, you could comment below. <laughs> it was just crazy to me. So, yeah, but lesson learned, always watch out for for crazy people <laughs> and don't don't put your um your values down don't put your um your worth down because you really want someone and you know you want to fit into the relationship club and to try to just give and you know you're not even getting someone to try to help you out as well but that's all i gotta say and please don't forget to like subscribe share comment click on the description link for your journey to happiness i love you all later